Hey YouTube, it's PJ here again. Um, this is my WE in 1911. I got the rail version in case I get a flashlight. Plus, I think the rail looks better. So, I had this gun for about probably about two months now. It's really good. It has a very hard kick. Almost feels. It's a Ford 5 ACP in real life. I would have liked to see it just kick a little bit harder, but it's really good. I like it. It has three dots there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really, really nice. And it's gas blowback. So, fortunately, I can't shoot it. Uh, uh, my propane just ran out, sadly. So, I'm going to show you how you fit this into my Serpa holster. In my vest, because some of you guys are probably wondering how I did that. So, basically, it's just gonna fit in like that, and it's just, I'll zip it in like so. And a lot of the pistols covered. I'm just gonna get it. I'll do this with one hand. So, sorry about that. Um, Now only this small portion is showing, uh, not that bad, but I unzip it and I need it really quick, it's easier to put the button this on. Um, just click that button, and it's out, sorry about that. This gun... It, I got it on sale for on Evike for about not a ninety nine dollars. Uh, it was on sale, and then I got the Holy Cow deal, which gave me an extra mag. It came with it comes with the silver one, but uh also uh, I got the Holy Cow deal, so it, it comes with the black one. So uh, it's like that. It actually stays back. Forward. The only bad thing about the bags is that plastic part right there. The one that holds your BBs down. If it snaps up by accident, it can break. The silver one I have right here broke. But I figured out how to fix it. All you need to do is put the spring all the way down and lock it and then put one BB into the top and it should follow down and then uh put your BBs in. Not a big deal. I'm not going to spend $20 just to get a new one for something that still works. Um, so, I really like this pistol. It's relatively my first gas blowback pistol. I don't know if you would say if it was good and stuff, but the only bad thing if I would say is on the pistol itself is the left safety because I'm ambidextrous so I'll usually use my left hand for a pistol but if you use it for a left sometimes you can't tell if because on the right side it has that nudge sometimes you can't tell if it's on safety or not because it doesn't go in all the way so you have to actually push it up really hard that's really the only thing bad. I'll probably have a, like a cleaning video or something on this in the future and stuff. So stay tuned for that. And these grips, oh my god. One of the most comfortable grip I've ever felt. And it has that USMC symbol right there. Eagle Globe and Anchor. I really like this. The only, another bad part about it is when it's on like the last round, it's supposed to do that. Sometimes when it comes back, it stays midway. So, you have to cut it back by yourself sometimes. Not too bad. I mean, it's your last round. You're going to have to probably reload next round. Of the race, but you are actually. Sorry about that. So, thanks for watching. This is uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you.